Hello, and welcome back to another video of Kelp Nerd. So today's video uh, is not going to be with my TI-83, but with my TI-85. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a Boom, which is a game that I've made on the TI-83+, Plus, on the TI-85. Again, uh, this program was made by Silverfish Ed, uh, as I mentioned in my original Boom video, but this one is going to be for the TI-85. Uh, so thank you to Silverfish Ed for uh, making this game. It's a really fun game. Uh, so I hope you do enjoy the rest of the video and get it working on your own TI-85. Okay, now let me show you Program Boom. So I'm just going to click Program. I'm going to go to Names by clicking F1. And Boom is my second option, so I'm going to click F2 to select Boom. And it's going to bring it up right there. And I'm going to click Enter to run the program. So right off the bat, it's uh, giving me a menu here. So fast, medium, or slow are the three options. Uh, so fast, the asterisk is going to fall extremely fast on the screen. I recommend playing on slow to start out. And as you get better, you can uh, up the speed a little bit. So I'm just gonna play on slow. And the asterisk still falls fairly fast and I just missed the first two. Uh, so basically the whole premise is just to catch the asterisk right here and not die like I did. And uh, it'll give you a game over screen and it has a pause. So you just click enter and it'll give you your score. And I got a whopping two. Uh, that's a very great score. Um, so also if you play on fast, you'll get 30 extra bonus points. Uh, and it, I believe if you play on medium, it's either 15 or 20. Um, so basically you just run the program again. If I just click enter, uh, it'll run it again. And this is the menu, remember, so I'll just play on medium this time. And basically, you just try to catch the asterisk. That's all you have to do. And if you do want to change the symbols, I will show you how you can do that. Uh, you can definitely change those if you don't like uh, what they are. So as you can see, I got five total points. And I got 25, so it is 20 extra bonus points for medium. And that's basically all there is to boom. So now let me show you how you can program this on your own TI-85. Okay, so I'm going to click the program key again. I'm going to click F2 for edit, and I'm going to either type in the name of the program that I want to edit, or just edit the one that is there. So boom, I'm going to click enter, and it's going to take me right in to the program. So the first step is to clear LCD. So if you don't know how to program on IT-85, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial. Otherwise, if you know, you can just skip ahead and then I'll start uh, scrolling through and explaining the code. Um, but if you don't know, stick around just for a couple minutes here and I'm just going to show you uh, how you program on the TI-85. So these are your uh, like tabs, basically. Uh, if you're programming on the TI-83 and you click the program button, you have an IO and a control tab. That's basically what those two things are right there, IO and control. So for example, if you want something in the IO tab, you're gonna click F3 and it's gonna give you a ton of commands that are in the IO tab. And what you need to do, like if you want something here, let's say you want display, okay? So display is the third command and it's right above the F3 key. So you would click F3 to get display. And if you click more, the more button, it'll list more commands that are there. So for example, clear LCD, which is the first command is on F3 because it's right above the F3. Or if you want something like a quote, because you're doing an output command, it's right here above F5, so you use F5. So that's basically how you program on the TI-85. Now, if you want to switch to a different tab, let's say the control tab, you click second, and F4, which gives you M4, because remember, if you click the yellow button, you'll get the yellow function. So you won't get the print screen command here because you clicked second, and then you click control, it'll scroll you over into the control tab. Same thing to get back into the IO, you click second, F3, second, F4 to get back into control. This is where you find like if, then, else, for, and while, that kind of stuff. And there is a while in here, so remember, just click more, and you'll find while right there. And also label and go to which are used. And if there's a command that you cannot find, uh, two places that you can look, second and custom, which is the catalog. And this is an alphabetical list of all the commands on the calculator. So let's say you want something in the eyes. If you click the I button, it'll take you to the eyes in the catalog. It is alphabetically sorted 
So if you want to go back to A, just click the A button. And for example, and is right there. So you can get that kind of stuff. Now, if you need something like an equal to sign, uh, you'll notice that I'll show you a little bit later in the program when we're actually going through it. There is uh, two equal to signs. It's like equal to equal to. And you might be wondering, okay, so is that two of these equal to signs right here, alpha and store? No, what you want to do is click second and two, which takes you into test because yellow button, yellow function. You may have not noticed it, but it switched uh, right here, the line right here of commands that you can do. For example, equal to equal to is the first one right here. You have greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, that kind of stuff. And remember, if you click more, it'll give you more, which is not equal to in this case. And then you may have noticed that now, like if you click second and F1, it's going to give you a while command. If you want to exit this and just get back to the uh, basic programming commands like the IO and control tab, just click the exit button and that'll take you back to that normal tab. So now that you know how to program on a T85, I'm going to show you program boom so you're able to make it on your own calculator. So clear LCD, three storm to M, zero storm to H, and six storm to B. Menu one comma quote fast, comma A comma two, comma quote medium, comma B comma three, comma quote slow, comma C. So this is going to take you to different points because of uh, A, B, and C. Uh, which is what label A, label B, that kind of stuff comes in. So label A, point one, store into R, point two, store into V, go to D. Label B, one, store into R, and 12.5, store into V, go to D. Label C, one, store into R, and 30, store into V, go to D. And D is right here. Then I'm going to clear LCD again, output at five, comma, four, comma, quote, get ready, and you don't have to put the finishing quotes on this kind of stuff. Uh, on the TI-85, the first time you run a program after editing it, it actually scrolls through the program and checks, and it actually puts that extra quote on. So deleting it won't actually get rid of it because it will put it back on uh, the next time that you run the program. For X, comma, 1, comma, 500, and so that just creates like when it's saying get ready, It'll kind of pause for a second and then it'll go. That's what the for X comma one comma five hundred is for. Clear LCD again. While one. So this is just an infinite loop because it's using Boolean logic. So if you have A is equal to one and A is equal to one, it returns a one because it's true. If it was false, it would return a zero. So while one is just equating this equation, which is just a one, as true. So it's just an infinite loop. Output at 1, comma, 13, comma, quote, life. Display two quotes, comma, M. Uh, output at 3, comma, 13, comma, quote, points. And there is a period right there, or a decimal point. Display two quotes, comma, H. For D, comma, 1, comma, 8, output at D, comma, 2, comma, quote, the uh, division sign. That's what that is, if you're curious. And, and you can change that symbol up if you want. For example, you could do a capital I, that looks pretty nice. Um, it's whatever uh, your personal preference is. For E, comma, one, comma, eight, output at E, comma, 12, comma, quote, another division sign. And three plus rand times eight, I part of answer store into Z. So this is basically rand int three, comma, eight, store into A, or store into Z, excuse me. Um, because there is no random int command on the T85, you have to be a little bit creative. And so the system that I have come up with uh, is you take rand multiplied by whatever, ever, excuse me, whatever the highest value is. In this case, it's 8. And then because it starts at 3, I have 3 add to it at the very beginning. Actually, uh, 8 is not the highest uh, value. It'd actually be 11 because 3 plus 8 is 11. Uh, and then I take the I part because Rand will give you like 1.6859 uh, stuff. So you just want to take the integer. So you just take the 1, multiply by 8, and add 3. And then have that store into Z. For X, comma, 1, comma, 7, I'll put it X plus 1, comma, Z, comma, quote, a multiplication symbol. So if you want to change the thing that is falling, that's the place where you do it right there. 
uh, you just change that and you're good to go. Output at x comma z comma quote a space. Get key store into g. g plus, or sorry, b plus g is equal to 26. Minus g is equal to 24 store into b. 8 store into o. So right here is the movement command. And uh, there is an example of that equal to. So remember, click second and two, which takes you into the test menu. Uh, so eight store to O, output at O, uh, comma B plus one, comma quote, equal to sign. So remember, if you want to change that, change that right there. Uh, and then you'll have uh, both of those done. And then output at O, comma B, comma quote, a space. Output at O, comma B plus two, comma quote, space. If g is equal to 22, pause. So g is equal to 21, 22, so exit. And then if b plus 1 is equal to 12, 10 store to b. I'll put it 8, comma, 12, comma, quote, a division symbol. If b is equal to 1, 2 store to b. I'll put it 8, comma, 12, comma, quote, another division symbol. For t, comma, r, comma, v, end. If o is equal to x plus 1 and b plus 1 is equal to z, H plus one store into H, which is basically your score. Go to E, label E, and clear LCD. If O is not equal to X plus one and B plus one is not equal to Z, M minus one store into M. Go to F, label F. If M is equal to zero, go to G, and label G. Output at five comma four comma quote game over. Pause, so that's why you click enter. Clear LCD. If V is equal to 0 0.02, H plus 30 store into H. So if you selected fast, you get those 30 extra bonus points. If V is equal to 12.5, H plus 20 store into H. Display, quote, score, display H. So that is the end of the program. So now that you've copied all this down, you'll be able to have a working version of Boom. Remember the first time that you run it, it will not uh, go right away because it's checking through the code. And for example, if I delete this uh, right here, it would put that back in that first time. So that's what it's doing running through the code. Uh, but that is the whole entire program. So I hope you do enjoy playing Boom and I hope you look forward to future videos. As always, thank you for watching.